Now here's a tip for navigating uh, between blending modes. You probably know that when you have a, a layer here, um, and you can, you know, if you turn this layer off, uh, you'll notice that your blending modes are grayed out. You have to have another layer, duplicate layer, to use that. And also, I want you to pay attention, there's a watermark here. Okay, um, if you'll notice, the watermark has been brushed out, but I'm going to show you something here which is quite interesting. I'm going to go ahead and, and just make this layer active. Now, we all know that uh, if you manually go through, you know, a variety of these, you'll get a different effect. But if you really want to do this at a r more rapid rate, there's a keyboard shortcut that is really unique. So what you want to do is hold the shift key and the plus key and hold your shift key down and press plus. Now watch what happens here uh, on the blending mode. Okay, here, here we go. Okay, shift and then the plus. There, you, watch what happens. Dissolve, darken, there's the watermark. Multiply, color burn, linear burn, lighten, screen, color dodge, linear dodge, overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, linear light, pin light, hard mix, difference, exclusion, hue, saturation, color, luminosity. Now what, what you could do also, you can reverse it. Go just keep holding your shift key down and then go to your minus sign. Then it goes in reverse. All the way up till we get to normal. A really fast way if you want to see how the blending modes uh, work on a layer rather than manually having to do it. Okay, now the other thing is uh, we remember the uh, black and white um, screen or window and I have happen to have one here. Remember this one where we can have an image in color, but if we put this black and white window over it, we can see how it looks in black and white. Now, but watch what happens too. Make this layer active. Watch again uh, what happens when we uh, go to the blending modes manually here. You can watch the window. Notice what goes on even in black and white. If, if your image was in black and white, and you were going through your blending modes, you can see a, a difference, of course. Pin light, difference. Goes through them all. Okay, so that's um, a little tip to show you how to, in a way, have a little bit of automation uh, navigating your way through blending modes.